Hello there, welcome to Smart Forum Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Smart Forum Builder is the best all-in-one community plugin for WordPress. I'm so excited to introduce you to this plugin and show you what it does, how it does it, what makes it unique. And it's simple, it's modern, it's beautiful, it's intuitive, it's easy to use, it's easy to set up, it's easy to get started with. And it's going to help you create an online space for your members to come together, to connect, to communicate, to collaborate with each other like never before. This is exactly what you and I had been missing all of this time. And it's here now and it's going to help you change your online business game for good. I don't know if you have noticed, but online self-hosted communities are back in a big way. A lot of people are researching what's a good community platform to use. And I'm seeing this question show up more and more in different Facebook groups and forums because people are getting tired of the noise in these Facebook groups. They're getting tired of the noise in these social platforms. On top of that, your content is going to live and die on these platforms. It's so hard to find. You cannot really organize it. You don't really have any control over it. Rules change all the time. It's really frustrating. So a lot of people are researching for good community solution that does not cost a fortune. So I'm going to show you exactly how it works from the front end user experience to how you can create a centralized dashboard that's going to look so amazing. And you can have everything integrated. You can have your content, you can have your community all in a single dashboard. So what we have done, we have created an integrated dashboard experience. You can, if you sell online courses, challenges, memberships, products, trainings, whatever, right? You can now create an integrated dashboard. What goes inside each one of these menu items, that's completely up to you, but it's so easy to build uh, a dashboard, a centralized dashboard using SFB. Also, if you have Facebook groups, how do you control access? How do you say if someone has access to this membership level or this course or this uh, product, then they get access to this specific area in my Facebook group. There's no way to do that. But with SFB, you can decide who gets access to which forum. You can create private forums, you can create public forums. And even within private forums, you can say only those that have access to this product, this course, or this membership, or this tab, or this user role, only they can access this. So you will have control. You can control access at granular level. You cannot do that with a Facebook group. So the only main thing was like, you know, Facebook groups, of course, um, free to create. And also people used to be like, okay, I get engagement because people are already on Facebook. So there is a higher chance they're going to participate in these groups. And that's slowly dying too. A lot of people are struggling to keep their Facebook group going because there is no engagement. Facebook groups are not as vibrant as they used to be before. So a lot of people are looking for an online community space solution, an integrated space where people will come for content because you are going to send them to the centralized dashboard for all of the content access, everything. And they will find your community and SFB the way it's designed. It's designed to help you with engagement. You're not going to have the problem that you have with other community platforms with all of the gamification options, with the rewards, recognition, uh, levels and accomplishments, all of that stuff all integrated into SFB. And on top of that, because of the centralized dashboard experience, people are always going to arrive here because they are going to come here to access your content, your freebies, your paid products, your trainings, everything. And they are going to find your community right there. So they're going to check it out and you can control access based on what products they have, what memberships they have, what trainings they have, whatever, right? You can say only those people that have access to this will be able to you know, unlock or post in this forum or access this forum or access this group. All of that can be controlled at granular level using SFP. So now let me show you what the front end looks like, the entire user experience. I'll give you a quick demo of the back end. Let's dive in. So first, let me share with you some of the core concepts of how Smart Forum Builder works. So Smart Forum Builder at the very top is your community. And then you can create multiple categories. You don't have to create multiple categories if you don't want to. You can just create a single category. You can add all your forums to that same category. That's up to you. But we have created the structure in such a way so it's scalable. So in future, if you decide to have different categories for different things, different products, different memberships, you can do that. So you can create categories. And within each category, you can add different forums. Within each forum, you can add as many discussion topics as you want, discussion posts as you want. Users can add a post as well. And that's configurable in the back end if you want to allow them to do that or not. And you can start different topics of conversation in each one of your forums. And people can comment, people can reply, people can engage, people can participate in each one of these discussions. What they can do and what they cannot do, you can control it in the back end. And so access, roles, all of this you can fully control in the back end. This is how it works, right? This is the basic structure. Once you understand this, it will be really easy for you to set up SFB because everything is based on that. You have categories, you have forums, then you have topics. 
So let me show you how this works. This is the front end. And you can decide where you want your forum, your community to live. You can decide what URL you want to use for your centralized dashboard. And here, when they go to your community page, you can decide if you want your community to be private or you want it to be public. What it means is like if you have a private community, only logged in members can even access the URLs. If they try to access it, if they are not logged in, it's going to say, sorry, you need to log in and have an account to be able to access this. But if you want to create a public community, and public doesn't mean that everything can be accessed by everyone. It just means that they don't have to be logged in to check out your community. So that's a great way to get people to get a taste of what you have. But when they try to access individual forums, they can only access it based on the permissions you have set up in the back end. If you say this forum can only be accessed by people that have this product or have this tag or have this role, then only those people can access that forum. So you can still control access, even if it's a public community. So everyone can see what you got, but they cannot really access the content. It's a great way for you to market your community, right? It's going to sell itself because you're going to be able to show people, showcase what you got, similar to like you have access to these products, but you don't have access to these products. So you can upsell what you have, right? What they don't have, you can upsell it. And you can do that in your dashboard. Similarly, with your community, you can say you have access to these, but you don't have access to these. So that's what SFB will allow you to do. You can easily showcase what they have. You can also sh uh, show them what they don't yet have and also how they can get access. When users click the registration button, they can register uh, for your community access. But if you want them to be redirected to a page on your site and you want them to purchase something, to be able to access your community, you can do that too. You can connect your registration button to whatever page you want. So when you install SFB and activate it, there is an option, one-click installation of some of the key categories and key forums. And all you have to do is like click a button and it will install all of this for you. The reason we have done it this way is so that there is no initial learning curve. You can have your community be online, you can publish it, you can go live with it within like half an hour of installing and activating SFB because you can click a button and say, okay, go ahead and install some of these forums for me. It'll go ahead and do it. You can see here, this is what your default setting will look like, something like this. You're going to have two of these categories, right? Start here, questions and events. You're going to have these pre-built for you. You're going to have welcome introductions forum. You can have community guidelines. All of this will be there for you. It's going to save you so much time. So I would highly recommend it. Just click a button and it is going to install it for you. You don't have to do anything. But if you want to change it, if you want to update it, if you want to remove it, all you have to do is like switch a button and say, I don't want start here category. I don't want welcome forum. I don't want questions and events or I want to change the name. I want to change the content. You can fully change it, but all we are doing here is making it easy for you to get started. So there is no learning curve. You can see how this works, how it looks in the front end as soon as you install it. And then you can, once you get an idea, it's going to be so much easier for you to make the updates that you need. We have a menu builder in the back end, which will allow you to add other menu options. In the left side menu, for example, by default, these are the core menu items like home, member directory, and profile. If you don't want any of this, you can turn it off, but you can add custom menu links. You can say, I want a menu for courses. I want one for products. I want one for memberships. I want one for events. Whatever you want, you can add it, and you will have the option to enter content for each one of your menu item. You can add short codes. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to be using DAP as my membership plugin. I'll be using um, DAP's member dashboard short code for courses, for products. I will create a menu item called courses, enter the course short code. I will create a menu item called products. I will enter the product short code. I'll enter, I'll create a menu item called freebies. I will enter a short code that allows them to access all my freebies. So these are the kinds of things you can do. You can build your own custom menu links. And even if you don't use DAP, it doesn't matter. It's not only for DAP. So you can use whatever membership platform, whatever LMS you want to use. And if you already have a page where users can access their products, their courses, you can just redirect to that page. However, because it's a centralized dashboard, always send them here so that they will find courses, they will find products. When they click on it, where they end up, where they land, that's completely up to you. You can enter content directly in the back end of SFP. They're going to see it right here in place, in page. However, if you want to redirect them to a different URL, you can save and they click on this link, send them here to access this. So like I said, you can create a centralized menu and where you send them, what you do with it, it's completely up to you. It's configurable in the back end. So as I mentioned, the way SFP works, you have categories, you have forums, and then you have topics, right? So let me show you that. So community, when they click on community right here, they are going to be sent here where they will find all the categories. You can see the categories are right here. Start here is a category here. 
questions and events as a category. So say that they click on start here. All of this is going to be pre-built for you if you want. If you don't want it, it's fine. You can say, I don't want you to create it for me. So I would highly recommend that you let SFB do this for you so that you can see what it looks like and it looks beautiful by default. You just have to make minor updates to it to get started. So here you can see, this is the forums page, right? Under this category. So start here is the category. These are all the forums under this category. Each one of this forum that you have here, you can make it private or you can make it public. Public meaning, you know, anyone can see it. What they can do with it, it's up to you. You can configure it in the back end and you can still control access. However, anyone can view it. Anyone can see it. So that's what public forums are. But the private ones, they have to be logged in and they have to have whatever access you say they need to have, right? So by default, you can set it to role-based access, standard access where anyone can, you know, access these forums and post and stuff like that. That's the default. So that's what I would recommend, unless you have a specific need to say only people that have access to this product, this membership, this course, they can only they can access it. You can do that. And if they don't have it, you can then say you don't have access to these forums. You can display a specific message to people that don't have access to those specific products that don't meet the rule that you have set up in the back end. So you can add as many as you want. There is no limit. This is another thing. Like if you use a SaaS platform, you're going to constantly hit a wall because it's going to be like, okay, you can only have one group. If you want to have more groups, you got to pay more. So you're going to keep hitting that wall with SaaS platforms. That's why it's so frustrating to use SaaS platforms. Not only you have to pay a lot every month, but you're going to keep hitting the wall. You're not going to be able to scale your business the way you want unless you pay more and then pay even more. So that's why it gets frustrating with SaaS platforms, no matter how great they are. That's why I will never use a SaaS platform for my business, to run my community, to run my membership, because I want to have options. And I want to be able to scale the way I want. I want to be able to use the plugins that I want. I want to be able to use the theme and control the look and feel the way I want. And I don't want to live by the rules set by these SaaS platforms. So here you can see all of these forums are here, right? And each forum can have one or more topics. For example, the welcome forum. I just want to welcome the members. I don't want them to be able to create posts there. If they want to comment, they can. That's what this welcome forum is. So I have configured it to say, just one topic in this forum. So what happens is topic is just a post. So they're going to find this post here, just like a blog post. So they're going to find this here, right? You can see here, this is how it looks. You can customize all of this in the back end. People can participate. Your community members, they can see your welcome post. They can like it. They can comment on it, all of that, all right? This is the comment section. They can comment. They can upload a picture, video, whatever they want. Again, you can say, I don't want them to upload a video, right? If you don't want to allow them to upload videos in the back end, you can turn it off. Similarly, images, you can say, I don't want them to upload images. You can turn it off or you can set a limit and you can say this is the max limit in terms of the size of a video or of video or images. You can do that too in the back end. Also, one more cool thing we have done here is this ability for you to minimize the side sidebar because some people say that sidebars can be distracting. You don't want your members to be distracted when they are on your community page. The main goal is to get them to read the content and take the action you want them to take. And if you add a whole bunch of sidebar stuff, then it might distract them. It really depends on your audience. So you have the option in the back end to say, I want the sidebar, but I want it minimized. Or I want sidebar all the time. Or I don't want a sidebar. All of these widgets that shows up on the right side, you can add several different types of widgets. And this is configurable in the back end, what you want to show, what you don't want to show, what you want to show on the forum page, what you want to show on the activities page. You can customize it in the back end. This is the one I have right now. But what I have done here is I have set it to minimize so that they are not going to see it by default, but if they click on it, it will expand and it's going to show them the widgets you have configured in the back end. This is the introductions forum. And here at the top, if you want to display a banner with the information about what this forum is all about, you can show that. Now, this is the forum listing page here. Again, I have like one topic. So that's why it's showing just the one topic here. And uh, when they click on it, it's going to send them to this page. You can see here. All right. So this is the introductions forum. This is where your users, you're going to encourage your users to introduce themselves, right? So in this case, your users can add a post because obviously they need to be able to add a topic, add a post to be able to introduce themselves. So you can see here at the top, it says add post. You can change this button text to say whatever you want to say, want it to say for a specific forum, right? For example, here you can say introduce your, click here to introduce yourself, right? You can do that. So here users are going to arrive and you can let them know, you will have one post that is pinned post, so you can let them know what you are expecting them to do here. 
that's your main post, right? So that's how your members can introduce themselves. And once someone has introduced themselves and have their have their post, then others can participate. They can like it. They can comment on it. They can welcome other members to the community. You can also incentivize your members to introduce themselves. So if, you, if they add an introduction post, you can give them points. You can give them badges uh, for having done that. Your members can proudly display their badges next to their picture, next to their profile image. So all of this you can do to get members to introduce themselves and to comment on other people's posts. You don't want them to, you know, not participate. So you can increase engagement and participation using gamification strategies. I'm not going to show you exactly how you can gamify your community uh, using um, using SFB, but I'm going to have a different video all dedicated to help you increase your community engagement. So let me show you a few other things here. Member activity page, homepage, right? So here they are going to find their activity feed. Members can post what's in their mind. And other members that are following them, they will find that in their activity feed, just like Facebook, right? Very similar to Facebook with the activity feed and members get their own personalized activity feed. You can say in the back end, if you don't want to uh, enable this feature, activity feed feature, you can turn it off if you don't want to allow it, but members can post. Otherwise, members can log in and they can post activities in the activity feed. This is only available to logged in members, all right? If they say, I want all members to see it, everyone is going to see it. But if they say, I only want my followers to see it, whatever they post, only their followers will find that message. And uh, member directory, let me show you this. This is another awesome feature. For years, people have asked us for like recommendations or a good member directory option where members will find each other. We have now built it. It's part of this community platform, SFB. You are going to be able to list all the members here. And uh, members can find each other, connect with each other based on role, based on bio, based on location, based on forum. Really awesome feature to help members connect with each other. Now, one more thing we have not done yet, but we will be doing is you can add a member directory at forum level. So you can say that this forum only show them a directory of people that are in this forum, not everyone, so that you can control, right? Who can connect with whom, who can see other members depends on what forum they have. So if you don't want a common member directory that anyone can access, but you want to only make it part of specific forums, paid groups, paid forums, you can do that. You can say, if I'm running a challenge, uh, I want other members that are taking the same challenge to be able to connect with each other. I am doing this course. I want everyone to take the course at the same time. I want members to be able to collaborate, communicate, talk to each other and support each other. And so I'm going to create a directory full of people that are part of that challenge, part of that course. You can do that. We have not done that yet, but we are going to add that option. So, all right. So this is the profile page. Members can upload an image, upload a background image. They can add a bio right, about themselves so others can find information about them. They can, they will find their connections, people they are following, people that are following them and pending requests, friend requests from other people. Whatever images they have uploaded, they will find here. Whatever videos they have uploaded, they will find here. They will find all their accomplishments under badges. You can say, here are the badges available. Currently, you have this and this is what you can do to unlock more badges. So this is an easy way for them to showcase the badges they have on next to their picture, right? Profile image, you can see it's going to show up. Um, in the member directory, in their profile page. So it's going to make them want to earn more and it's easy for them to know how they can earn more. It, uh, SFP integrates with both GamePress and MyCred and you can use their free option to uh, add this, right? So you can install those plugins and it's free and you can set up, you know, what you, what exactly they have to do to earn points and what they have to do to get to the next level. And I'm going to have a different video where I'll go over details of how to do this, how to gamify your entire community experience. And uh, I'll show you exactly how to do this, all right, to increase engagement. And timeline, they're going to find a timeline of all of their activities. So member can opt in or opt out of member directory, and they can say, these are the emails I want to get, these are the emails I don't want to get, and we're going to keep adding more options here. This is what we already have, all right? They can make their profile private. If they don't want others to see what they're doing in their profile, they want to stay, uh, make their profile private, and they just want to participate in the community in terms of accessing your content, they can do that too. They will have the option to make their profile private. All right, this is how it works. So this video, I'm not going to have a detailed you know, set up walkthrough where I'm going to walk you through how to set it up because I'm going to have a different video, set up video where I'll show you step by step how to install and set up Smart Forum Builder. Now, this one is like any other WordPress plugin, so installation is easy. You can just download and activate it 
Uh, like any other WordPress plugin, that's going to be super simple. After you activate it, you're going to find Smart Forum right here. And this one is a pure WordPress plugin. So, you know, you're going to, it's going to look very familiar because it's going to have very WordPress-like interface. And it looks beautiful, actually, in the back end, you can see. And you're going to find all the forums you have added right here. All the active forums, you can search by category. So you do need to create category first, right? So you can create your forum category right here. Again, you can have just one category if you want everything to be in a single category for your business, that's fine. You can make it simple. You can keep it simple. You can create one category. You can add all the forums under that same category. And if you want to separate it out, in that case, you can create your categories first, give it a name, and also all of this, you can change it later. So you're not going to be stuck. So if you create a category by a certain name, you want to change it later, go ahead and change it. That's not going to be a problem. You also have an AI option in this forum builder, so you don't have to figure it out. If you want to add a specific forum and you want to add a whole bunch of topics under that forum and you don't really know what other forums might be useful based on what you do, right? So in that case, you can just say create forums using AI and it's going to bring you here to this AI page where you can say, you know, yes, this is a category, right? You, you do need a category first. So you can say, this is my category. And you can also get it to give you back some forum ideas. You can say, I already have a forum title. I'm just looking for some content for my forum. Or you can say, I also need help with forum ideas. If you want help with forum ideas, you can just let it know, you know, describe your community, what you're planning to do with it. And uh, it's going to build out your forum. It's going to create the forum. It's going to get all the details from ChatGPT or OpenAI. You can pick one of these options. And it's going to build out your entire forum for you. All right. And also, when you start, right, when you start, the first page you're going to see when you uh, activate Smart Forum is the Getting Started page. And the reason we have added this page is so that you can understand how this works, like community first, then categories, then forums, then topics. This is a structure. And then you can set up different things here. For example, who do you want to bring together, right? So if you want to see examples of this, you can click on, give me some examples. So just say, you know, who do you want to bring together? Just pick one of these and uh, community description. Here you can use AI for ideas for a description for your community, or you can write your own. There is going to be this already there by default, connect and collaborate. If you want to give your community a different name, you can do that here and you can always change it. Similarly, community description, what's your community about? You can add this. It's going to show up on the main community page. You can do that. Slug, where your community is going to live, whatever is your domain name, slash community. That's the default. You can change it anytime. And just a simple change here and save it. And that's it. And private or public community. Again, this one you can change. Initially, you can say this is a private community. Everyone has to be logged in to be able to access it. But later on, you decide that you no longer want it to be private. You can always just switch, uh, click a button to change it. All of that, you can do it in the settings page. So here, let's say next. Here you can set up your background color, text color, all that stuff. You can upload a logo image. Your community URL is here and you can click a button uh, to say, you know, set up the basic forums for me, basic categories for me. When you do that, you're going to have a forum that looks exactly like this in the front end. It's going to have all of these pre-built categories and forums for you, right? So that's what I would recommend you do. Let me quickly take you inside the forums page to show you what it looks like. So if you create a new forum or uh, you edit an existing forum, you can add forum description here and you can upload an image for each one of your forums and uh, also user permission. Like I said, you can create an open forum. Anyone can access it, even if they are not logged in. So you can create and make it open or you can make it private. If you make it private, you're going to see several options here. And you will find this, for example, integrations and access rule. By default, it is set to role-based access. What this means is that depending on the role, they can do certain things. So they do have to be logged in. But even though they are logged in, what they can do with your forum depends on who they are, right? Their user roles. So admins will have admin access. Editors will have standard access. And all of these access permissions, you can define it in the permissions page, right? What does the admin access really mean? What can they do? All of that, you can define it in the access page, in the permissions page. All right, so this is a default role-based access. Depending on the role they have in WordPress, they can do certain things, but they have to be logged in because this is a private forum. If you don't want role-based, if you want product-based, you can do that too. For example, if you use DAP as your membership plugin, you can say they can only access this forum if they have access to these products in DAP. And you can select what, pro you can select what products. And if they have access to that product, 
uh, that's fine, but what exactly can they do in the forum, right? Just because they have access to the product doesn't mean they will have full-fledged access to the forum. So even then, you can control permissions. You can say, so like I said, it's all configurable in the back end. If you want to keep it simple, just make it role-based. If you want to control access at granular level, depending on the product they have, it's really simple, right? Once you do it once, you will understand how this works. Configure error messages to be displayed, right? If they're logged in, but they don't have access, it's going to say, this is a private forum. You don't have access to it. To get access, please visit this page. So for each forum, you can have a special message so that, you know, whatever they need to do to get access to that forum, they can do that here. So really simple. And at the bottom, you can have all the topics that are part of that forum listed down here. They will find all the topics. And you can add new topic here. All right, so this is the topics page, right? A forum can have one or more topics. Topics is nothing but like a post, like a blog post. And you can share information using topics, right? All right, so you can see this is a full regular WordPress editor. So that's what I'm using here. You can add whatever content you want here using the WordPress editor. And, uh, you know, just regular WordPress way, you can create your content here. On the right side, you can see there is a featured image for this topic. This is a video. This is a YouTube video. If you want to use your own embed code, short code, you can enter that here. And you can pin the post if you want. You can select the forum to which this topic is assigned. If you later on change your mind and you want to assign this topic to a different forum, you can do that just by switching the forum to which it is connected. You will find all the comments people have left under this topic under the comment section, all right? People can also report certain posts if they want to you and you're going to receive an email with all the details about the posts they are complaining about. So there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do to make sure your community runs smoothly and all the comments you're going to find here, all the activities, user activities you're going to find here. And uh, Fields Manager will allow you to create your login form, your registration form and customize how it looks, where people get sent after they log in, register. Do you want to use SFB's registration or you want to use your own registration? You can control that here. Members, you will find a list of all your members, community members, what they have, what they don't have, what they have done, activities, everything you will find here, member details. Reports page, you will find the detailed report of what's going on with your community, right? What is What forums are active? What forums are busy? What forums not getting enough engagement? So you can adjust based on what you're seeing, right? As you can see, SFB is just awesome. There are so many options already and we are just getting started. So you can imagine where we are going to take this plugin um, in a few months from now. Forget a year, even in a few months from now, because we are making daily updates to it, making it better every single day for you. This is a complete no-brainer. Really, it's a complete no-brainer for anyone with an online business, especially with a WordPress-based online business. This is something you have to have. It's not just a nice to have, it's a must have if you're serious about building an online community on your own site, on your own space where, you know, you can control, you know, everything from access, permissions to what people can see, what they can do, and also have all your content on your own site. You don't want it to live and die on a third party platform or have or be subjected to ever changing rules or have it hosted on a third party SaaS platform. It's the same thing as Facebook groups because you know, they will get to decide what you can do, what you can do, what plugins you can have, what you can't have, you know, what you, how many groups you can have, how many forums you can have. You're going to keep running into those walls. So you don't want any of that. SFB is a no-brainer option for anyone running an online business in terms of features, in terms of how great it looks and all the things that we have thought through and everything that you are going to have access to from day one. And um, also in terms of pricing, how affordable it is. So be sure to sign up and spread the word about SFB. We also have an affiliate program. If you have friends or followers who can benefit from this uh, amazing plugin platform, community plugin, because I know a lot of people are researching this. Or if you have an agency and you want to offer this uh, to your clients and want to sign up for a copy for your client, you can do that. For each one of your clients, you can sign up for a license on our site. And uh, we are here to help you. We are here to support you. And you're going to have the best experience running an online community using Smart Forum Builder. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already, because I'm going to be adding several videos about uh, SFB in the coming days, in the coming weeks, because I want to continue to educate in terms of different ways you can use it and different benefits and different way you can increase engagement because that's one thing people often ask, right? How do I get people to participate? How do I get people to engage? So we are going to keep giving you more ideas and show you ways you can do it. Go to smartforumbuilder.com and you can sign up there. You'll find all the details on that page. I'll be back soon with more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.